Hi there, and thank you for tuning in to this session about an introduction to Azure Logic Apps. My name is Ton van Oute. I'm based in Belgium and working as an integration slash solution architect. My focus is on building integration and backend solutions on top of the Microsoft stack, both on-premises and in the cloud. The aim of this session is to explain you how and in what scenarios your organization might benefit from Azure Logic Apps. As a start, it's important to position Logic Apps within the Microsoft Cloud Integration Platform. This will ensure you get a complete picture right. Afterwards, the main features and benefits of Logic Apps will be explained, followed by an overview of the out-of-the-box connectors available to reach out to an enormous variety of applications and protocols. Then I will cover typical integration scenarios that Logic Apps deals with, and to wrap up, I'll give you a very nice demo so you get a sneak preview of the Logic Apps look and feel. Microsoft's integration vision is built upon three main pillars. The first one is to democratize integration. Microsoft aims to take integration out of its niche markets and offers it as an intuitive and easy to use service to everyone. The idea is that everybody is now capable of creating lightweight integrations without the steep learning curve that, for example, BizTalk Server requires. The second pillar is all about becoming a leader in the integration platform as a service offering, where Logic Apps is positioned. The last goal of the integration vision is establishing a rich ecosystem of many out-of-the-box connectors and offering a marketplace where third-party ISVs can publish their own connectors. At the heart of Microsoft's cloud integration platform, we have BizTalk Server, available in Azure Infrastructure as a Service, and Logic Apps. Combined, they provide an impressive number of connectors and adapters. Logic Apps serves as a gate towards the other Azure services, which reveals a lot of new and innovative integration scenarios. Azure Service Bus provides a high-performing and reliable messaging engine, where those API management can be applied to expose your data in a secure and unified manner. It's really a better to get a story where you need to pick one or more services depending on your project requirements. There is a smooth integration between all of them. Let's have a look what's in it for you. Logic Apps is used to implement integration workflows in the cloud. The development experience is very user-friendly and intuitive, which ensures it's quite simple to get started with Logic Apps. Not only connectivity with other cloud applications is foreseen, but you can also easily reach out to on-premise systems. It's nice to see that predefined templates for common integration scenarios are available, giving you a real head start. Logic Apps requires no coding at all, but if needed, you can inject your custom functionality by leveraging the smooth integration with Azure Functions. Many connectors of other Microsoft services are available at your fingertips, such as Office 365, Power BI, and Cognitive Services. It's important to understand that Logic Apps is completely serverless. This means you don't need to take care anymore of the underlying server infrastructure. Logic Apps are instantiated based on events, and they scale automatically depending on the number of events they need to handle. It's a pure pay-per-usage building model, so no upfront costs to reserve compute resources. This comes with important benefits. It results in a reduced DevOps, as you don't need to take care of OS patching and high availability and so on. It allows you also to really focus on delivering business value, which comes with a reduced time to market. The consumption-based billing model introduces in most cases lower costs to run your integration solutions. This is a non-exhaustive list of available connectors. Every week new connectors are added, so it's impossible to keep this slide up to date. Many connectors to Azure services are available, the same is true for other Microsoft applications. In blue, I've marked the connectors that are bound to commonly used transport protocols. The green connectors provide integration with typical line of business systems that often reside on-premises. There's also quite a lot of integration with social media available. Next, we are going to talk about some common integration scenarios. Connect anything. Complex integrations can be set up between cloud applications, for example Salesforce, and on-premise systems, aiming to synchronize data which increases productivity within your organization. The on-premises data gateway ensures that cloud-to-ground and ground-to-cloud communication is possible. Behind the scenes, it uses Service Bus Relay to connect to the cloud in a firewall-friendly manner. If you have a BizTalk server running on-premises, you can easily extend it to the cloud through the available Logic Apps connector. IT solutions are built to serve the rapidly evolving business needs. Thanks to the serverless Logic Apps offering, fast release cycles can be ensured. API management can be introduced to publicly expose data from various backend systems as unified APIs. 
This allows web and mobile apps to consume your data in a secure and simplified way. You have many Azure services closely available, allowing you to build innovative integrations that make a real difference in your digital transformation journey. As a classical example, you have organizations that analyze tweets and Facebook posts to verify their online and public image. Logic Apps can easily capture the data from a variety of social media sources and send it to Cognitive Services, which on its turn can perform a sentiment analysis on the data. In case the tweet or post gets a negative sentiment score, a ticket can be created so an employee takes action to contact the person in question. This is just one example of building innovative and holistic integrations. The following demo will showcase the capabilities of Logic Apps, combined with the extensibility of Azure Functions. The Logic App will monitor a mailbox for incoming emails that have the subject that contains the word order. The Excel attachment is extracted from those emails, parsed, and based on the content, a purchase order is created in Salesforce. Let's have a closer look. The first Logic App polls every 5 seconds in the inbox folder of my email account. The Logic App trigger is fired when the subject contains the word order. The workflow iterates over each attachment and checks first whether the attachment is an Excel file. This decision is based on the content type. If yes, the left branch is executed and the attachment is downloaded. The binary attachment is passed on to the next Azure function that converts the Excel data into a generic JSON format. The second Azure function converts that format into a JSON purchase order format. This data is sent to the second Logic App. The second Logic App receives the request, validates the contents, and provides a response back. Then it retrieves the internal account ID for the provided customer name via this OData query. In a similar way, the price book and contract ID are obtained. The next step is to create an order in Salesforce by providing the retrieved internal IDs and some address information. Here we loop over each order line where we first retrieve the internal product ID before we can create the order line in Salesforce. At the end, the attachment is also added to the Salesforce order, which provides end-to-end -end traceability. Let's give this a try. I fill out the Excel form with the required customer info. Next, I select the products and their respective quantities I would like to order. When we're done, we can send the Excel file to the required mailbox. Within a second, I expect the email to arrive. And yes, there it is. If you now have a look at the history page of the first Logic App, we see that a new instance was fired and completed successfully. Remark that the monitoring experience is quite similar to the development look and feel. When we investigate now the outcome of the second Logic App, it's clear that the purchase order was created in Salesforce. In order to verify this, I browse in Salesforce to all draft orders. Let's refresh the page and hopefully we notice at the bottom a new order. And yes, there it is. We mark that the three requested products are linked to the order, each with their corresponding quantity and price. The order history shows when the order was created, and at the bottom there is an attachment available. Let me download the attachment and open it. And here it is, the same Excel file that we emailed about a minute ago is now linked to the Salesforce order. Wow, that's cool! In this session we have positioned Logic Apps at the heart of Microsoft's cloud integration platform, together with Bistock Server. Whereas Bistock Server runs as Azure Infrastructure as a Service, Logic Apps is serverless technology that is categorized as Integration Platform as a Service. It enables you to create easily and in a very intuitive way integrations that run in the cloud. Logic Apps provides an enormous range of connectors that integrate with both cloud services and on-premise applications. So real hybrid integration. I hope this session gave you some insights on the power of Logic Apps. Stay tuned for more.